Hi, I'm Sean Kantayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. And today we're going to be doing a variety of things that relate to how to socialize and train your little puppy. This little guy is going to be getting a haircut today. He currently is in the traditional schnauzer style and today as part of his socialization experience i'm going to be or excuse me he's in a teddy bear schnauzer and i'm going to be putting him into a traditional schnauzer you might wonder why is she wearing that goofy hat well part of socializing puppies is exposing them to a wide variety of things like grooming and like different types of hats and looks and sunglasses and costumes. So I'm encouraging you to start to think about what hats, sunglasses, unusual looks can you expose your puppy to as part of their socialization as well. I won't be grooming him wearing the hat, but wanted to make the point with you about ensuring that your little eight week old, nine week old puppies are getting exposure to lots of different looks and hair colors and um, the way in which people present themselves and sounds of voices. So come along with me today as you watch us in our training session with our little puppies as well as some of the things that we're doing to Part social. of our weekly routine for puppies is a weekly nail trim. And so I think of this as part of socializing your puppy, getting them up onto a table. Hi, Devin. Hello. Devin helps me with nail trims every week for the puppy. So we're going to show you here how we do a nail trim on a nine week old puppy. So this little guy just turned nine weeks old yesterday and he has had a nail trim like this pretty much uh, since he was born at least weekly. Yes. yes. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Yes. 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 What a good boy you are. And with puppies this age, nine weeks old, you can easily do your own nail trims, but I do recommend that you have somebody helping you holding the puppy. So you can see here, I'm using my hand to stabilize him and Devin is using her hand as well. The other thing I could do is I could hold him And yes. then Devin yes. could also uh, do that way. But right now we're, we're socializing him to help him learn to be on our grooming table here. So we wanted to show you what this looks like, but we always find it amusing little puppies when they start to see themselves in the mirror. They always love that experience. So we'll go ahead and do all <laughs> of his nails here now as part of socializing Hi, Birdie. Him. Hi, Birdie. It's Birdie's time now for her nail trim. And so we'll just show you Birdie starting to get her nails trimmed here. Hi, Birdie. Again, this hey. is the kind of thing where I make sure different people are interacting with her regularly. Yes, Birdie. Yes. Yes, Birdie. All right, we'll keep going, I'll hold her, but just wanted to show you what it looks like and the fact that she's regularly being groomed and combed like this on this table. Birdie, you wanna see yourself in the mirror? Look at that. <laughs> Very fun. Step one in grooming an eight-week-old, nine-week-old puppy, or a puppy of any age, actually, is to begin with a good comb out. Now, hopefully, you're already in the habit of combing your puppy every day. This puppy gets combed out every day. Schnauzer coats need just a run through. It does not take long. It happens very, very quickly. And 
So just a real quick run through. Always make sure you get underneath the armpits as well and get your comb right against the base of the skin. So I don't know if you can get right in there and see that I'm putting the comb right against the base of the skin. The reason that's so important is we wanna make sure that we don't get mats in our dogs. Once a dog starts getting mats, eh, that's a problem because they're not going to enjoy being groomed. I have several different clippers that I use depending on what it is I'm doing. So the KM, the wall KM10 is really great for body work when I'm doing big body work surfaces. And my Kinshi Flash is great for sanitary trims, cleaning out the pads of the feet. I'll show you some of this along the way as I'm doing it. I have several other different types of clippers as well. Let me just grab another one. I share this, Devin, can you zoom right in on that? This wall, um, some of my groomers here really love this one. And so I'll vary up depending on what I'm doing. But if you have questions about clippers and which ones to use or which ones to get as an at-home groomer, I highly recommend Amy, the Go Groomer. You'll find her on YouTube. Check out the Go Groomer. Subscribe to her channel. She has several videos in which she's showing you how she groomed our dogs, our schnauzers, both in the traditional cut as well as in the teddy bear cut. Check out those videos as a part of you thinking about do you want to groom your own dogs or do you want to hire a groomer? This is part of socializing your puppy. So Devin has been holding this little guy for me and I have done a sanitary trim on him, meaning I've taken the clippers and just run them very lightly along this area. And then we've also done around his bum so that we go away from the anus. And next we're going to be starting on trimming him out to look like a schnauzer. If I were keeping him in a teddy bear cut, what I would do now is uh, do his feet and I would even out some of the hair here using my thinning shears. But nope, we're turning him into a traditional little schnauzer today. So I'll be doing that step by step. So this little nine week old schnauzer puppy, miniature schnauzer puppy, has now been transformed to look like a traditional schnauzer. I will point out that I'm still working on some of this and I will likely be uh, coming back to trim and work on it uh, over the next couple of hours, just a little bit at a time. But I've probably hit his max for what he is willing to do right now. But uh, you can see my progress. I was able to trim out the basic schnauzer trim. I was able to get the pads of his feet cleaned out and around the edges. So we're in good shape with him. Again, part of socializing your dog is getting them ready for a grooming experience. And if you're not doing it yourself, then it's setting up an appointment to have them go to your groomer so they can meet and get to know the grooming process. So this little boy is nine weeks old, turned nine weeks old yesterday, and I just gave him a schnauzer groom. So he is looking more like a traditional schnauzer than he did before. Here you'll see him in his daily routine. And when I say daily routine, I want you to be thinking about every day while your puppy is eight, nine weeks old, you're putting them in a level one environment, a very safe environment with very few distractions. And you're getting them to do the exact same thing over and over and over. So you see here, Devin is doing, we'll start off typically with getting them on the places bed. Then sit. And we may do sit numerous times and we also might allow them to just stay sitting and get a jackpot. So sit and spin. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. Yes, 
sit. Yes, sit. And after we've yes, done five sit. or six of something yes, in a row, then we move to the next thing. Yes, and we'll do five or six of that. We're building the puppy's confidence. His siblings are looking on, literally watching right here. They are just inches away from him as he is doing his routine. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. Yes, He'll sit. need this routine done with him every day for weeks for him to build up the skill and the confidence. So he's just learning touch. It's part of lure training. And we will do this type of exercise with him multiple times every day. We're at about two and a half minutes right now with him. So I would say within the next few seconds, we'll be wrapping up and going into um, something that is exciting, feels good to him. He's a confident yes, little boy. He has such a great yes, personality. He loves to cuddle, loves to play. Yes, so when their feet are off the training yes, bed, they do not yes, get a treat. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. And you can see how excited this little boy <laughs> is. All right, so we'll go into a belly rub and just a, a good fun, good job. Great job! Yes. Happiness yes. all over the place. Yes. Yes, good job. And Birdie is saying, I'm next, I'm next, I want to go next. Birdie, do you want to go next? Okay, Birdie and Toffee will be next.